Now, the next stage is the mudga stage. And again, when I was asked what this meant, it says, uh, I, it reminded me of an embryo at this stage. And uh, when I was told that the mudga meant a chewed substance, I thought of a, the embryo here. You see these little bead-like structures, which we call somites. They are beginning of what will be the vertebrae or the backbone. And uh, I suggested that this chewed stage uh, could be uh, re refer referring to these uh, uh, somites, which have the appearance of, uh, of a chewed substance. If you take, as I did at that time, took a piece of gum and, and bit into it, and you're left with these teeth marks, which look very much uh, like this. So uh, this uh, stage, the mudga stage, occurs at about 26 to 27 days, and we call that the somite period in uh, descriptive embryology. Uh, the transformation from the alica to the mudga is very rapid, and during the last day or two of the alica stage, the embryo is beginning to develop some of the characteristics of the mudga, that is, the somites begin to appear. The word mudga means a piece of substance which has been chewed, and uh, as used to describe this next phase of embryonic development, it uh, should apply uh, with the shape of a substance that the teeth have chewed. In fact, the appropriateness of this term mudga has been indicated in modern embryology. It has been termed that after the formation of the embryo and the placenta, this stage, the embryo receives its nutrients and energy, thereby rapidly increasing the growth process. The bodily masses, called somites, from which the bones and the muscle will form, start to appear. During the multitude of bead-like structures, uh, or somites, that are present, the embryo has the appearance of a substance that had been, had been imprinted by teeth. The processes of this period can be recognized in the following points. First, the appearance of the somites or the imprints changes constantly. And just as the teeth imprints change on a substance with each act of chewing, the embryo changes its overall shape, but the structure derived from the somites remain. And secondly, the embryo turns in its position due to the modifications in its uh, center of gravity with the new tissue formation, similar to the turning of a substance with chewing. And third, just as a chewed substance becomes curled before being swallowed, so does the back of the embryo become curved. And four, as the somites form, the internal features of the embryo in the mudga stage are partly differentiated into organ onlaga, that means the beginning of structures, and partly undifferentiated. And this uh, description is also uh, stated in the Quran. Now, this is an, a later stage of mudga. You can see the uh, tail that we all had at that stage. And this little uh, flipper-like structure is what's going to be your, your upper limb. Uh, and so uh, th this is the uh, mudga stage. Next slide. Uh, then out of the chewed-like substance, uh, partly differentiated and partly undifferentiated. And when I was asked what this uh, uh, sort of meant, or, well, I it said it's clear to me that an embryo at that stage uh, is only partly differentiated. In other words, some of the organs, like the early development of the eye and the ear and the heart, some parts are well differentiated, others are poorly differentiated, and some are uh, undifferentiated, and so we have the, this mixture which agrees exactly uh, with this uh, uh, dictator uh, syrup. Thus the term mudga is very meaningful, since the embryo is a lump of irregularly shaped tissue at this stage, and a creation of systems is occurring while the overall process is incomplete. Some of the organs will form in the mudga stage, and some will form in later stages.